guys we are back out with the baby AR wing and we have moved the control rod one hole down on both sides on the servo arm and we've added reflex into the elevons so I don't have to hold the elevator to keep it level uh, let's go ahead and try this thing out And yeah, much better, much better. Yeah. It is definitely flying worlds better. So this is why I never use max throws on the servo arm because you don't need that much throws and instead of limiting limiting your servo movements you can just move that con uh, connecting rod closer to the servo to use lesser throws with the same amount of movements you're actually gaining more torque so it still has a little bit of oscillations which means we may even be able to go down to a lower servo hole to get rid of those oscillations but yeah this is flying worlds better than yesterday and it's still the same battery 2s 3400 and it's still the same 4x 2.5 prop on the back so um, this is a calm day flyer anyways so you really don't need 4s or 6s or even 3s because chances are you're not going to be flying this in a in a windstorm or a tornado just because of how lightweight it is but on a calm day this thing yeah so i'm about i'm keeping it at about half throttle and we'll try to get some lower passes yeah so this is much better than yesterday you can see we have a pretty good turning radius on there speed it up yeah it's not not quite locked in just yet but i I am not having to hold the elevator down anymore like I was yesterday so there's two ways you can uh, get rid of the oscillation you can turn the gains down you know and pretty much shorten the throws or you can move the uh, servo connecting rod one hole closer to the servo which I may do. I may, uh, I'm on the, uh, <clears throat> I believe it's the uh, one hole down from max. So I think I'm going to move it to the middle. And that should give us uh, our desired flight characteristics on this. But yeah, dead silent. And she's still moving, guys. Don't think because it's 2S that she ain't moving. She's still doing about 30, you know, 30, 40 miles per hour. So we'll come by again. Yeah. So now she's not going to do, I mean, we could set this up. I mean, I feel like on 4S, this thing would probably hit 100 miles an hour. I don't think you could use this motor on 4s the, the kv is pretty high 3800 kv to me is pretty high so if you're going to run 4s you'd have to run like a three inch prop on there which would sound sick but uh let's check our zero throttle here yeah much better much better 
So I think we got the right amount of reflex in there. There's a full throttle pass. Just a small amount of oscillations left in there, man. Not a lot. Let's do another full throttle pass. Yeah, so we got the turns locked in a little better. I think I may leave it like this and just turn the gains down slightly on the elevator. I don't think we're gonna touch the uh, connecting rod. But yeah, this is a world's difference compared to the maiden flight. I'm actually able to get speed now without it oscillating too bad. It still has oscillations, but they're very minimal. It uh, gets out of it pretty quickly. I'm wondering if we should throw that 5x5 five five prop back on there. I think this 4x2.5 will be the more efficient prop. So that's why I'm going to try to leave this prop on here. I almost wish that it came with the same uh, 1406 uh, 2600 kV motor that like the Zod Dart has. If it had that same motor, I would just run this on the 6 inch prop like I'm doing on the like I did on the Zod Dart 250 and I feel that would push the efficiency up but yeah this works out it's very silent you can't hear it come through very minimal wind or uh, prop noise it's very minimal but she's very locked in, man. Is it as locked in as the Dart 250? No, it is not. But this is definitely more enjoyable than my maiden flight went. As you can see, I'm flying this thing pretty easily right over us and then loop out of it. So. I like the AR Wing Pro, the full size one. And uh, I knew I knew I would like this one. I just thought it um, it would be more nimble because it's, you know, lightweight. It's only 300 grams. So I was expecting this to be a little bit more like as agile as a um, uh, racing wing, you know one of those styles just simply because of how lightweight it is so it's definitely more locked in and uh yeah let's try a vertical okay she struggles on the vertical so we will have to try the five by five prop on this let's go ahead and bring this in for a landing and we're gonna switch the prop and get it back in the air. So we're gonna come in now for the landing. Keep the throttle on small. Man, it's blending in with the tree line. There we go, throttle up in there. Yeah, it don't weigh much. So, I think we are slightly under propped with the stock prop on there I mean as you can see it will fly perfectly fine um, with the stock prop but I think adding the 5x5 five five prop will be the sweet spot for this so we're going to switch the prop and we'll get back to it. 